They were the elite American automobile. That's where the term, that's a doozy, came from. And because, you know, if it was good, if it was really good, they compared it to a Duesenberg. In a California garage, a team of skilled craftsmen are restoring one of the rarest American cars ever made. It's a 1921 Duesenberg. It's the first Duesenberg sold. To car buffs, Duesenbergs are the holy grail of American automotive elegance. Duesenberg Model Js were driven by kings and movie stars alike. Those are the ones most people think of when they think of a Duesenberg. But in my opinion, the Model A was the real Duesenberg because that was them. That was the racers building a road car. Dave Stoltz has been overseeing the restoration of the first Model A Duesenberg at Canapa Design in Scotts Valley, California. What the car lacks in Model J style, it makes up for in historical significance. It, it was a very powerful car and very uh, ahead of its time. It is the first car that to have hydraulic brakes. The car was originally purchased by Hawaiian sugar and fruit magnate S.N. Castle and custom built to his specifications. Some estimate it might be worth more than $50 million. In the case of this car, the Castle family, it's not for sale, so it's priceless to them. And it's, it'll never be for sale. I mean, it's, it's going down in a fourth generation here at some point. The restoration crew hopes that the car's backstory will help as it competes in the Pebble Beach Auto Show later this month. This is kind of going to be a special year for the Duesenberg. They're going to have a class specifically for Duesenbergs, which it'll be entered in. No cost has been spared by the Castle family to return the car to its original 1921 glory. But decades of use and modifications have made it a challenge. It's, it's like digging up a dinosaur, you know, trying to, you got a couple bones and you got to figure out how all the rest of the pieces went together between it. Its wooden frame was rebuilt, the straight eight engine tuned and polished, and finally set loose on the road once again. So every system in it's been rebuilt, not, not just for show, in fact, that's kind of secondary. It's been really restored to drive it, to make every system absolutely functional, absolutely reliable every day. <laughs>